¿Tú estás bien? ¡Qué bueno! Yo estoy bien. Hola, ¿cómo estás? ¿Tú estás bien? ¡Qué bueno! Yo estoy bien y estoy feliz y emocionada. Today I am going to show you a very, very special lesson. I prepare something that is very special to my heart. I hope that you can make it special for you and that you can share with me something that is special to you. So what's so special for me? It is my... Ah, did you say familia? Family, that's right. Let's put letter F, both of our hands, and circle around and close it. That is a sign language for family. And so today we will talk about the different members of my familia. Okay, so I was going to put pictures of um, gallo and pollito, and then I said, and then hand, but I said, no, I have my own. I can show you my own familia. Okay, so let's get started. Listos? Vámonos. Mi casa. Mi casa. Tu turno. Repite, por favor. Mi casa. You know what? We didn't switch to Español. ¿Listos? Click. Let's do it again. Mi casa. Mi casa. Muy bien. Siguiente es mi Familia, la familia. Oh, so sorry. <laughs> okay, let's do this one again. La, la familia. Oh, mi casa. La familia, la familia. Tu turno. La familia. Muy bien. Ok, el siguiente. Ah, papá. Put your hand like this by your forehead. That's a sign for daddy. Papá. Y put your hand here by your chin. Remember, everything around the chin is for a girl. Everything around the forehead is for a man or a boy. Mamá. Let's do it again. Papá y and y mamá. Muy bien. Tu turno. Tu turno. Papá y mamá. Muy bien. El siguiente es ¡Ah! mis mis hijos, sons. Here, like if you were holding a cap. And then rock a baby. Even if they are grown, they still are babies. Let's do it again. Mis hijos. So when we say mine, we can go like this, or we can say mine. Okay. Mis hijos. Yo tengo dos hijos. Alfonso y René. Ese es su nombre, Alfonso y René. Muy bien, mis hijos. Mi hija, la hija es Richelle. Some of you know Richelle because she was at GBA and also René, my middle son. Okay, hija. We're gonna, that's right, you said it. We're gonna put here like a girl for a girl and then rock a baby. Okay, hija. Muy bien, let's do it again. Hija. Muy bien. El siguiente. El abuelo. El abuelo is grandfather. Put your hand here on your forehead 
and then the one generation and two generations. That is the father of your father or maybe the father of your mom. Like this. Bien. Abuelo. El abuelo. Mi abuelito. Do you remember last last time, last lesson, I shared with you how sometimes when we want to say something loving or dear to us, we add ito or ita at the end of the word. And a lot of words we can uh, add that. One of them is abuelito. My parents never wanted to be called abuelos. They always wanted to be called abuelito y abuelita. Come on, let's do it. Abuelito. So what do you think is a sign for grandma? Good job. It is like this. One generation and two generations. Abuelita. Let's do it again. Abuelita. Now your turn. Tu turno. Abuelita y abuelito. Did you say abuelo? That's good. That's good. It's up to you. You can say abuelo y abuela. Muy bien. Lo siguiente. Mis, mis hermanos. They are boys. And then hold your hand like this and put your other hand as like that. Mis hermanos. Let's do it again. Mis hermanos. Yo tengo dos hermanos. How many do you have? Un, un hermano. Muy bien, cero, cero hermanos. Ok, mis hermanos. Muy bien, tu turno, tu turno. Mis hermanos. You said you don't have any. That's ok. You can say none. <laughs> Nada. <laughs> ok, el siguiente. Me. That's a girl. That's my sister. Now, my sister is actually 48 years old. She's older. And some of you have met her a few years ago. She lives with me and she's on a wheelchair. She's very, very dear to me, to my heart, because she cannot walk or talk. So I call her hermanita. Even though she's older, she's like my, my child. So, mi hermanita. Remember, everything that is dear to you, you can call it at the end, ito and ita. Mi hermanita. Muy bien. Muy bien. Now, let's move on to how do we call our uncles and aunties? Now, she's also, she is actually my cousin, but she's so dear to me. I always call her my sister. Because we grew up together and we were very, very close. So that is also my little sister, mi hermana. And when we have aunties and uncles, we are going to call them tíos. Can you say that word? Tíos. Tíos. Very good. So let's make a letter U right here on our forehead when it is a boy, an uncle. We're going to say uncle. And let's just throw her around. And when it's an auntie, we're going to make a letter A by your chin, auntie. Okay, let's switch to Espanol. Tía. La tía. Now, if she was my auntie, I would say me, tía. Okay, your turn. Tu turno. Muy bien. La tía. Mi tía. Muy bien. Okay, la siguiente. Now, in this case, these are the children of my brothers. Of my brother, actually, of one of them, of my brother Fernando. So I have two. Tengo dos hermanos, Fernando y Francisco. These are the children of my brother Fernando. Of course, they are grown now. And they are the cousins of my children. So cousins is a letter C. And when it's a boy, you guessed it. Yes, we put it here in our forehead. Cousins. And we call them primos. ¿Listos? 
el primo o los primos. Now remember, when we talk about more than one, we're going to say los. ¿Listos? Los primos. Muy bien, tu turno. Los primos. Do you have many? How many do you have? ¿Cuántos tienes? ¿Cuántos primos tienes tú? ¿Tienes dos? ¿Dos? Muy bien. ¿Tienes cinco? Excelente. Ok, el siguiente. Ok, la prima. La prima. You got it. Muy bien. Cousin here, girl cousin. La prima. Now, these are the cousins of my children, and they are the daughters of my brothers. So, the daughters of the brothers, in this case, of your parents, brothers, or sisters, is primos, la prima. And because it's more than one, we call them, good job, las primas, las primas, muy bien. Now, the children of my brothers and sisters, they are the grandchildren for my parents. So, the grandchildren, we're going to put a letter N right here if it's a boy. Nietos, your turn. And nieta, la nieta is a granddaughter. Muy bien. And at the end, guess what? Yo. Amo a mi familia. You said, I love my family. How many signs did I do? I love my family. Yo amo a mi familia. Tu turno. Yo amo a mi familia. Muy bien. We have a few minutes to review this. Let's focus on the first portion. A familia. Muy bien. Papá y mamá. Mis hijos. Mi hija. Good job. Abuelo y abuela. Muy bien. Mis hermanos. Mi hermana. Mi hermana. Ella es la tía. Let's see if you remember this one. The uncles. Good job. Letter U here on your forehead. Los tíos. Muy bien. And let's just check this one, the last one. Mel primo y las primas. My time is almost over. And I just want to tell you that this is my beloved family. And I would love for you to share with me your family. You can also do the drawing, the activity that we have, and send that to me. I'll be super, super, super feliz to see all that. You take care and have a great day. Thank you for letting me share mi familia. Adios. I also wanted to share with you a print that you will do at home. If you do not have a printer, you can always draw. Last time we drew. So in this case, let me see if you can see. Just put it right there. Okay, so you're going to need scissors and some colors. So you want to go ahead and cut this area. And then you have all the family members on this side, which you are going to be coloring and then cut them okay try to do your very very best and while you do that i have a song for you and i think that you will really really enjoy it so as you listen to this and as you watch that song 
um, I want you to practice your sign language, okay? So I'm going to play it, and I'm going to sign it for you, so just so you know how to do it once you hear it, okay? I wanted to share a quick correction. I hope you caught it that this is son or hijo and this is daughter or hija. When I play the video back, I realized I did this, which is hermano or brother. And I did that, which is hermana or sister. So make sure that when you're doing the song, when it says son, you do this and daughter, you do this. Okay. And now the next video is a craft. I know you have so much fun when we do crafts. So we are going to color, colorea, and cut. Cor so have your materials ready. Print the page or draw it by yourself as you see it. And do your best. Have fun. And let's go. Vámonos. Ask your parents to print the sheet that I included in the Google Classroom. First thing you want to do is write down your name, tu nombre. Mine is Araceli. Now you want to uh, write down your own name, right? Okay, it says Mi Familia. Okay, now I want you to get a black marker or, or a pencil is fine. And I want you to add a couple of things to La Casa. Now, if you remember, we studied the parts of the house in a previous lesson. So this one is called, let's see if you remember, La Puerta. Okay, and let's make a little circulo. And now, Ventana. La Ventana, arriba, es un rectángulo. Muy bien. Okay, now, get your colores. Toma tus colores. I want to do markers just in the beginning, in the initial part, because it's just a big surface. So, but it's up to you. Whatever you have, if you have crayons, it's fine too. I just love using markers if you have them. Okay, let's switch to Español. ¿Listos? El techo es rojo. Rojo. Muy bien. Y es un triángulo. And at this point, you may see it speed it up a little bit 
but you are welcome to pause the video and do a good quality work. Ok, muy bien, español, triángulo rojo. Muy bien, triángulo rojo es el techo. What's the name of that part of the house? Can you repeat that? El techo. Muy bien. What color is your techo? ¿Qué color es tu techo? Ok. El mío es rojo. Ok. Muy bien. Remember, you can pause the video if you need to. Don't rush. Do it with quality. Ok. Ahora vamos a tomar el color café. ¿Qué color es? Café. Muy bien. El color café para la chimenea. Y es un rectángulo. Muy bien. Es un rectángulo. La chimenea. I know you remember that word. I know you like that word, chimenea. Ok, ahora voy a hacer la pared. La pared. La casa va a ser anaranjada. Anaranjada es orange. Anaranjada. Y es un rectángulo alto. I always like to outline my drawings. I don't know if you do, but I always feel that it works well because that way I don't, I don't go outside of that peri perimeter. Perimetro, call it perimetro. <laughs> and so, okay. So, also the same thing. You may have to pause the video. I'm just going to expedite it a little bit. Ooh, that's... <laughs> that was super rápido, fast. Okay, yes, that was oh, anaranjado, orange. Okay, now I'm going to do this one. Remember? Puerta, la puerta... Va a ser amarilla. Wow, some of you remember that word. Good memory. Amarilla. La puerta es amarilla. And I know I draw super color super, super fast. You take your time, okay? And la ventana. Remember that word? Peekaboo. La ventana es azul. La ventana es azul. Muy bien. Uh -huh. Excelente. Muy bien. Ahora, ahora, ok. I want to start coloring my familia. I'm going to use the color pencils. And this, I love to use them for all the details. And so, I know, like I said, I go fast. You don't have to. Just take your time, and you don't have to finish today, okay? You can go ahead and take your time as you do good quality. You can take your time, and as long as you're working on this and um, just doing a nice quality work, I'd rather see you doing a nice quality work and um, give it to me tomorrow or tonight and you just do a nice work because I think that this will help you to memorize the names of the members of the family. Okay, I'm gonna choose a color verde, verde for the shirt, camisa. Mm -hmm. Muy bien, es verde. Like your GBA shirt, <laughs> es verde. What color is the GBA shirt? Verde. Muy bien. Okay, now, the skin is uh, that color we call it color carne. And I don't know, we, we haven't talked about that. But can you say that? Carne. We actually call it color carne. I don't have it in my, in my um, color pencils, but I have it in a marker. So I'm going to use that. You can use that. You can use brown as well. But I just wanted you to see through the video. Okay, so now I'm going to pause for a minute 
I'm gonna continue coloring it's gonna take me some time because it has detail and remember if you if you went ahead and did a drawing then you want to um, you know do the people the, the way that you want it could be stick figures it's fine but try to do your best now I'm gonna draw mama abuela abuelo this is could be you so yo that's your baby brother hermano hermana y hermano bebé hermano bebé it's a baby brother hermano bebé okay muy bien okay now it comes time to once I am done coloring so I'm gonna pause and color and then I'm gonna show you how it looked when I finished this is my finished work and then now ready to get your tijeras your scissors and it's time to cut. Now, some of you know how to cut. Some of you are learning how. So if you are not ready yet to cut it nicely with quality, make sure you ask an adult to help you. That way, when you're done, you can play with this. You can do a little skit um, and your, let your imagination um, go. You can um, do a little a little play I don't know in the past when we're in the classroom we do a little play with this and um, it's always good to to play the parts of mama papa okay and I'm gonna do one more thing just because I think it's so much fun when I was little I remember doing this and I just thought it was so much fun um, okay so cut the people first cut all of them and um, and what I'm going to show you is after. So in this case, I want to have all my family in the little, in the rectangle, just the way they are. You don't have to go in, just cut rectangles, it's fine. Okay, that way you don't get to cut anyone's toes or arms. Just keep it in a rectangle, in un rectangulo. Okay, good job, I heard you. You said rectangulo. Oh, mama, where did she go? Okay, so I have papa, mama, now this abuela, or like I call her abuelita. How do you call your grandma? Some of you maybe call her Nina or, or Lola. Some different languages maybe you call her different how do you call your grandma how do you call your grandfather I, I call mine abuelitos abuelitos mm -hmm. and one word that we didn't uh, practice this time is yo y o so when you say this abuelito Maybe let me put him here. When we say yo, it means I. So either if you're a boy or a girl, you want to say, ready? Este soy yo. This is me. With the number one, you say, este soy yo. If you're a girl, you say, esta soy yo. And then put the rest of the familia. Tu hermana pequeña, your little sister. Tu hermana pequeña. And I think this is an older sister. So we're going to call her hermana, right? And he also has, this student has a baby brother. So we are going to call him hermanito, hermanito. In this case, for this family here, we don't have uncle and auntie. But you're welcome to draw your own family. Or even if you feel that you want to share personally about your family, you're welcome to take a picture or to have a picture and send me that picture of your family describing the names. Okay, very good. So now, now that I have it, 
I want to show you this, this special thing that I used to do as a little girl. I used to cut la puerta, and I'm going to show you how. So don't cut it all, just cut a little bit, and also the window, la ventana, just cut a little bit so that you can open it, and you're going to see how much fun this could be. Okay, so just a little square on one side and a little square on the other side. And again, have your family, your adult um, dad, mom or dad that are there with you or your big brother or sister to help you. Let's see how much fun. Okay, la ventana. And then on the bottom, la puerta. <gasps> la puerta, and I like it, but it can be open. I'm gonna put my mama. La mamá adentro de la puerta. Okay, adentro. Is that a new word? Say adentro. Adentro de la casa. Adentro de la casa. We are going to be learning those words called preposition next time. Okay, my friends, you enjoy it. Have a good rest of the day. Adios.